three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission. January 28, 1986. Before a television audience, seven passengers aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger took flight from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Among them was Krista McAuliffe, who was selected in a nationwide search for a teacher to be NASA's first citizen passenger in space. I don't think any teacher has ever been more ready to have two lessons in my life. I've been preparing these since September, and I just hope everybody tunes in on day four now to watch the teacher teaching from space. Just 73 seconds after takeoff disaster, after a rubber seal in one of the shuttle's twin booster rockets failed, triggering an explosion that doomed all on board. Then President Ronald Reagan eulogized the crew and called them heroes. And while the flight exposed failures in NASA management who ignored safety warnings from scientists, it's widely regarded as planting the seed for shuttle development in today's commercial space flights. Companies like SpaceX have even flown missions to the International Space Station, where on Wednesday, astronauts Michael Hopkins and Victor Glover spacewalked to finish installing a European science platform and complete long-term battery upgrades. The advancements can further research on Earth observation, robotics, material science, and astrophysics. This according to a tweet from the space station's Twitter account. Back on Earth, climatologists sounded yet another alarm this week. An estimated 28 trillion metric tons of ice have melted from ice sheets and glaciers since the mid-1990s. That's 57% faster than it was three decades ago, per a report scientists published Monday in the journal The Cryosphere. In that time, global sea levels have risen three and a half centimeters while the global temperature has gone up by one degree Celsius. Finally this week, a butcher in Scotland sent a bag of haggis into the atmosphere. Simon Howie's bag of organ meats climbed more than 32 kilometers before falling back to the ground. He claims it was the first haggis to reach such heights and says he hopes it inspires children's interest in space. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.